Hello there, chaps. Ready to dip your toes into some game development? Lovely. Let's get you started with Phaser, shall we? Whether you're completely new to coding or just looking for a friendly introduction to Phaser, you're in the right place. This tutorial will guide you from absolute beginner to a somewhat semi-confident creator in no time. It does move at a steady pace, so take breaks when you need it. There's no rush at all. Beforehand, we do need you to get the Phaser launcher low, which is in the description, and then head over to .phaser.io, pop into resources, and select making your first game. Then you'll need to scroll down and download the zip file, which contains all the assets which are neatly bundled ready for use, and then just follow this tutorial. You can also follow this in the Phaser launcher as well. There is a making your first game in there, so if you want to actually you go and see a bit more detail in there feel free to look at that as well right let's crack on and let's have a little go at making your first game shall we so firstly let's open the phaser launcher then go to the blade that says projects then click new now let's use the template which is for snake now make a folder and then a project name and then click create so we're going to take the snake game and we're going to rearrange it to work for our jump pattern. Go to project config and change the width to 800 and the height to 600. After every change, press Ctrl and S to save the project or Command S if you're on a MacBook. We're also going to make this change in the main.js file, which can be found by pressing the SRC folder and change width to 800 and height to 600. Now let's prepare the game scene. Open the game scene, which can be found in the SRC folder and click game.js. Let's remove all of the snake code so it looks just like this. Now let's put the assets into the game. The easiest way to do this in the phaser launcher is to drag and drop all of the files into the assets folder. Now let's sort out the assets in the preloader.js file. We need to go to the preload function. We're going to remove this and then put our code into it. Now let's start with an image. We're going to go to the game.js file and we're then going to put this line of code in. If you have done this correctly, you should get a sky background when you press the play button. So now we're going to look to build our world. We're going to add some platforms, something for your person to jump on, and for the other assets to interact with. So to get our platforms, you need to go to the game.js file and go to create, and you're going to put in these six lines of code. After saving, when you press play, this is what you should see. So now we need someone who's going to run around and collect things and jump out of the way of stuff. Luckily for you, you have me. I'm actually inside the assets folder and we're going to lose me in the actual game. To add me to your game, you need to go to the SRC folder. Now we need to add the game objects. By clicking this middle button, you can add a folder. Name the folder game objects. And by clicking this button on the left, you can add a file and call the file player.js. Now let's give me something to do. Click on player.js and put in the following code. Now let's address the player sprite. To do that, we're going to change the constructor method to the following code. After saving that, we're going to go to game.js and change the code over here as well. Now save and let's see if it works. So let's add some movement. Go to the player.js file and now we'll add imit animation. We also want to make it so that I can stand on the platform because it's not really any point of having a platform if I can't do platform things. So let's go to game.js and put in this line of code. Now when you press play, I should comfortably stand on the platform. So everything kind of works, except I'm not really moving, so let's get some movement going. In game.js, you need to add the this.cursors code. Then we'll go down to update and add this code here. Now go back to the player.js file and add these lines of code. When you save this, you should now be able to move me around. Now it's time to give me a purpose. So we're going to add some stars in for me to collect. So open up the game.js file. Then you'll add this line of code. We're also going to go down to update and add this line of code. Save that. And now when you press play, you should see some stars dropping. So what's the point of having these stars here if we can't get any points? So let's make a scoring system. You're going to add a school variable to keep track of the school and a school text variable that will display the score in the top left hand corner. In the game.js file, you're going to add these lines of code to the collect star function, which will allow the score to be displayed. So at this point, you basically have a game. We have a scoring system, something to collect. So let's make it a little bit harder. Let's add a bomb. So in the game.js file, let's go to create. Then let's add these lines of code. We also want to make a hit bomb function so that when you hit the bomb, something will happen. If you have put in all the code correctly, it should look like this. And now we need a way to release the bomb. So beneath the hit bomb function, we're going to add the release bomb function. Alongside, we will need to add some small additions to the collect star function as well. Now save the game and click play. Once you collect all the stars, it should release a little bomb from the top 
and when you hit the bomb, it should stop the game. This tutorial is for absolute beginners looking to get into JavaScript 2D game work with Phaser. There's so many more tutorials we have on our website. We have an amazing Discord full of people who are willing to help as well. And we also have many other platforms we use to help you guys out if you need it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because we upload tutorials here and updates on anything those days are related. And if you're making anything or would like to show off anything that we can highlight, please post it in the Discord and we'll see you guys in the next one.